Hello everybody, my name is Bubble and welcome back to another video. Snapshot 23W45A has just been released and we've been brought the new trial chambers. And that's exactly what we're going to be checking out in today's video. I've just started up the survival world. We had this nice little starter chest right here. Now I'm not going to try and make some sort of let's play series out of the survival world. I'm literally just playing on it. To check out the trial chambers i'm gonna see if i think they're too easy or too hard perhaps they're maybe just a little too difficult to find maybe the loot that you get from them is too op or maybe it's not good at all but for now i'm just gonna try and focus on getting some iron armor and then we will try and find our first trial chambers right i think i'm gonna have to dig down for these maybe i shouldn't be digging it straight down oh I'll, I'll, I'll dig down in a two by one but hopefully this shouldn't be too far down oh Oh, okay. I, I I think I found it and it was very far down. We are at minus four. Um, right. Okay. So this is just the tough brick. Um, okay. This, but well, this looks cool, but I am very high up and I, I, I don't really know. I, there's not really a way down. I guess I can drop, but, um, right. Let's, let's get like a stack of cobblestone and we'll use that as like a placement block. Um, we've got like a little water room here. We can jump across here. There's candles everywhere okay i don't remember seeing that in the video there's these decorated pots and they do contain stuff a trial key um i will admit i didn't check out the video um i imagine these were mentioned in or, or, or not the video but like in the uh in, in the little like snapshot thing oh i got six emeralds from that i already have one emerald from the village okay this is actually pretty good loot i'm gonna empty out my inventory a bit uh just so i can collect everything but this is this is looking like good loot so it looks like you're you're just sort of getting i don't know li little ores and stuff like that so stuff stuff that everyone is gonna like I've, I've not seen any diamonds yet but maybe you can get diamonds from here um okay so it seems like there's quite a bit of amethyst oh there's a spawner over here is that that is one of the trial spawners okay it looks to be a zombie spawner i'll check that barrel in just a second i'm not the best at pvp actually no you know what no i will hype myself up i'm i'm good at pvp uh right i don't exactly know how these spawners work i don't know if if i i wanted to test this if i remove the mossy cobblestone does that no it does it does not stop the spawning of the zombies i don't think ah ah okay so in the video um like in, in 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 the original video they said that it's like waves so i imagine i just almost destroyed this it like if i return maybe it comes back an emerald block okay you know what this this thing's got good loot and it, it it doesn't seem too difficult i mean i'm still alive admittedly i did only go against a zombie spawner we're now against another one i'm liking this though this this feels very fun it's it's bringing more of the pvp aspects into the game and you know making players actually need to pvp and it it, it definitely does seem like something that you can do off of the start as in it doesn't seem too difficult okay bamboo planks we got glow berries from this one right something that i just noticed there is there's a bit of an animation it almost closes off at the top i think that's what just happened i just caught it in the corner of my eye okay there's spiders up here yeah there's a spider spawner now the spiders aren't angry at me because i imagine the light is keeping me safe or they're just stuck in this corner i think they're just stuck in the corner yeah they're just stuck in the corner because this spider's not happy with me right so spiders are definitely a bit more definitely a bit more dangerous than zombies um but yeah again i wouldn't say it's too difficult it's you 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 can break the can you break these i don't think you can break these okay no you know what that's cool i like that oh a sharpness axe i'm gonna take that instead um i thought you could break them but it seems like you can't well hello there are some good things in here you can find some really good stuff oh oh i'm gonna block this off um oh that's powdered sn that's powdered snow that looks like there's a bit of like a parkour thing as i said it looks as if there's like a sort of parkour thing going on here why is that poison i thought it was just slowness if they've had an upgrade oh i am very low i am you know what i will set my i know this probably isn't the best place to set your spawn but i will i will just set my spawn here just in case okay so we've actually oh we have not destroyed that we have not destroyed that oh my days okay so it looks like the the stray is holding it in its offhand and that's allowing 
allowing it to shoot poisonous arrows. So that's a difficult room. This is this is a difficult room. We only got glow berries as the reward, which isn't bad, I guess. I would have definitely preferred more. Um, okay, so this spawns with uh what's it called? Podzol and bone blocks. That seems to spawn strays with poisonous arrows. So this room is just a dead end, but there is some copper down there. You know what? That's either another room potentially or yeah because because look this this is the only spot with copper if i dig down i was i was completely wrong okay right i don't really know where we can go i don't know why i've not explored okay i've i've found another room yeah we found another room there's the new breeze that's that's the new mob right i'm gonna take a hit from this guy now that's fun uh, there's a bunch of skeletons shooting at me now. Oh, okay. So, right. So, I think those mycelium and bone block ones just spawn normal skeletons. And I imagine they turned into husks from the uh, from the powdered snow. Okay. This is not good. I'm just going to wall this off real quick. Uh, we're going to heal up. I'm very low. I am very low. I cannot tank any more hits. Uh... <laughs> This breeze is not happy. They can shoot fast. I don't know if there's two on the other side. Okay, so it seems as if the shield... The shield does quite a bit against these things. I, I reckon that as, as, as long as you've got a shield, you should be all right. Maybe not, because partnered with these skeletons, he's very difficult. Oh, okay. So you can reflect the uh, wind. I have to admit, it seems very difficult. It's also quite difficult to get close to them. Okay, so the breeze just attacked the skeleton and the skeleton didn't seem to get angry at the breeze. So it seems as if those sort of things don't tend to do much. They also don't seem to have too much health. And their attacks don't do too much damage either, which I guess is good. It's just more of like a fun mob that just throws you about the place. I mean, obviously it's not intended for fun, but... Right, you know what it seems? I don't think you can shoot the breeze. I don't think ranged weapons work on the breeze. That is definitely what it's looking like, because I definitely hit the breeze there. Uh, I'm going to make myself another shield, but I definitely hit the breeze there. It just didn't seem to do anything. He also goes into like this weird neutral state that's that's happened again. I don't know why he goes into that state, but he goes into like a state of not attacking. I think that is the room fully clear. Uh, this spawner just spawned its things. We got more trial keys from this one. So this one is the one for the breeze. It's got the uh, the spirally top tough thing, the chisel tough. I think it is chisel tough. Yeah. And there's a chest over here. And okay, so this seems to be quite a good chest that had a uh, horse armor, saddle, and a fortune one book, which I would say is probably better than the other loot that I got in here. I imagine these are just fireball dispensers. Right, so that's that chamber complete. Is there anything down here? Yes. Okay, so we found another one of these poisonous skeleton spawners these are actually pretty difficult the good thing is with the skeletons is they do just attack themselves i mean when they hit you it's bad obviously but they do just sort of attack themselves which helps out a lot uh right i think that is that spawner complete i think i'm safe to go for this guy oh i'm not i'm not i'm really not safe right now this is the complete opposite of what safe is Okay, that zombie's going back to attack that skeleton. I think I'm all right. I think I'm safe. Right, there's a lot of spawners down here. So this seems like another one of those rooms that you don't really want to be in. I keep getting down really low health. So these trial chambers, they're not easy. There's a baby zombie. There's a baby zombie. Yeah. Anyways, carrying on. They don't seem too difficult. They're definitely not easy, but I wouldn't say that they're too hard either. So I reckon anyone could sort of go in these. As long as you've got some decent gear. I mean, I've got pretty much full iron armor. And ooh, ooh, what potion is that? Is that a regen? Okay, we got a regen pot. That's definitely good. Uh, Golden carrots. Okay. I don't really know what all of the things are that you can get from these uh spawners. What all of the loot is. Okay, so we've got more trail keys up there. That is a very good find. That is an insanely good find. Uh, Okay. I don't think that is too overpowered though like that definitely seems like a good reward a diamond that's good uh yeah especially for clearing out like a room like this i i'm still wondering what these trial keys do um i imagine they don't have a use because like i can't see any like like trial doors or something you know okay 
this is this is a new room there's trapdoors here as well which means mobs can't fit under these unless they're obviously a smaller mob uh a piercing two crossbow another enchanted golden apple lovely uh i'm actually gonna take that piercing two crossbow okay so the skeletons are up there right you know what i'm actually gonna take the bow yeah so as you can see the skeletons can't actually get through here and i imagine just do that if you don't want to fight heal up open up this trap door take him out actually oh that's perfect wait that's so smart i'm gonna swap out for my bow here but you can make these skeletons drop down flip the trap doors and then you can just you can just chop away at their legs okay obviously that does make the chamber a lot easier than what it was you're not gonna lose any health from doing this uh just makes it that bit easier yet again the skeleton can't get me and you can very easily just do this but i don't know if it's good that they've got the trapdoors here i actually think that makes it a bit too easy okay you know what the trapdoors don't work too well because i'm standing a level below if i was standing up here they can't hit me so it's definitely worth bringing blocks and just doing something like this that is going to save you a lot of health so look i can just chop away at this guy's feet there's nothing he can do yeah this is this is a bit too too overpowered this is this is definitely something that they should focus on potentially fixing um see i can just do that bait it towards me it's now locked on but it can't hit me uh if it was something like a zombie they can hit me through this but obviously it's a skeleton which is just a ranged mob and it can't oh my days that was a lot of skeletons oh, there are so many skeletons i am okay yeah Right, there's a lot of them. Yeah, this would be a very, very difficult room if it wasn't for these trapdoors. These trapdoors make them very easy. Uh, ooh, strength. I will gladly drink that. And let's let's see what we get from these chests. Because as I said, that was quite a difficult room. The trapdoors did make it easy. Okay, so some very good armor. More uh, enchantment books. That's another Feather Falling 4 book. Uh, we got another diamond axe with efficiency two. We got an efficiency three shovel. And that seems to be this room complete. I can't see where else I could go from here. I'm actually going to make myself another iron sword. Because I've not managed to find a sword. Don't know if swords can spawn. I imagine they would. I feel like that just makes sense. You know, these, these chambers seem to be giving us stuff that we can use for combat. Which makes sense. So like, if you go into them with basic gear, you will come out with better gear so it's definitely something good to find off the start because look we've got fully enchanted iron armor we've got fully enchanted iron tools we've got a diamond which i guess is good i mean one diamond's not the best but i'm not gonna complain am i so we're gonna try and find other rooms uh potentially connecting this way have i been this way no no i have not okay how did i not see this right we've got a lot more to explore there's a bed here now that's cool that is cool i like i know this is literally just four beds but i imagine this is where you're meant to start i imagine you you should mine in here four people you all get your own bed you can all set your spawn get some food diamond axe and then you go and take on the thing because look this is fully blocked off so you're fully safe in here this is like a safe zone okay that's actually a really cool detail i i like that um what i'm hoping is there's a way almost like the eye of ender there's a way to like lead you straight to this or what they should do is they should have a little bit poking out right at the top maybe they do that's not how i found it as i said i used the uh, locate command maybe they've got something right at the top above here but they should have like a little staircase going down and it should come out here uh and then like you and your friends can just go take this on together because i mean i didn't spawn here i didn't start here but i would say that this is a place to start maybe this is just a place like a checkpoint almost but i don't know for me it looks like a place where you start off if you got like some swords in this chest instead of like a diamond axe maybe a diamond axe cool um but like if you got like a sword as well a couple axes and also like the food i reckon that would be a really really cool thing to do so mojang should definitely try and add that oh okay we've got another new room uh this one was spider spawners and this uses kind of the same thing as skeletons but obviously we can't get under these copper grates whereas the spiders can so i'm i'm liking the look of that uh that looks very fun 
and that almost felt like a bit of a maze there. I feel like they could definitely play off that a bit more. Make this a larger area. Maybe it does carry on upstairs. Uh, I'm going to have to see. That is a lot of spiders. That is a lot of spiders. Um, right. Right. So I've cleared out this room. Uh, let's try and find another room. Huh. Seems to be like a little cubby hole here. Is that anything? No. Oh, wait. Wait. Now that's cool. Uh... I don't think this is meant to spawn like this. You know what, actually? I think this is the start. I think I remember reading in, reading into like how they, how they actually generate. And it says that the first room, well, it, 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 it spawns just like this. It spawns with an oak tree. Don't remember it mentioning anything about chess. We got an enchanted golden apple right off the bat. Okay. Uh, But yeah, there's an underwater cave just through here maybe this is a part of no no it's not okay there also seems to be a little area just through here and this is another one of those like sort of spawning rooms there's a bed there got a couple of tools not really tools that will help you with fighting maybe the axe will but is there anything else around anything behind here no no Okay, we can go up. Maybe there's more stuff up here. Yeah, okay, there seems to be more rooms. It's another one of these rooms. Okay, I don't really like these rooms because these rooms are difficult. And you know what? Here is where the bow is going to come in very handy because there's obviously a lot of skeletons down there, which I don't really want to get too close to. But obviously, I can take them out from a range just like so. Okay, I think all of the rooms have been checked in this corridor here and okay, so that's that's that room, but we didn't go this way and it's another one of these rooms. They have done a lot of damage and you know what i can actually loot these chests and oh now that is probably one of the best chests that we found in here a bunch of enchantment books not the best iron leggings uh also not really the best enchantment books but still three diamonds that's a very good find i think i think that is actually the trial chambers fully complete uh there's nothing too exciting in the dispensers i don't really think there's much point in checking dispensers um i guess you will sometimes find arrows uh but obviously snowballs that's it's not really exciting yeah as i said i think that is the trial chambers fully complete i'm actually just gonna go round in spectator mode make sure that we got everything done you can see actually how large these trial chambers are uh they are massive they are really massive they span a huge area so this i think is meant to be the starting point and if i go up to the surface real quick there's a large oak tree above but there's nothing actually on the ground to indicate where it starts i really think there should be if you want to know how long i've actually been in this world i've been in this world for 1.2 hours so about an hour and 10 minutes about an hour and 15 um it doesn't take that long to do you know i i i got a bit of gear for the first 15 minutes and then it took me about an hour to clear out the trial chambers i didn't die at all so it's not too difficult. Uh, I reckon they could make it more difficult. Don't exactly know how. Here's all the loot that we managed to get. Obviously, there is better loot in there. For instance, I left a bunch of enchantment tables. I left some diamond tools as well, which you're more likely to take over something like the iron axe. We didn't find any different types of swords. Not going to lie, that kind of disappoints me. I, I think it would be very cool to find a sword with a bunch of different enchantments. Honestly, I think this new update is going to be absolutely awesome. I am so excited for it. I think this is really well made. And obviously, there is the armadillo as well, which I'm also really excited for because that is the mob that I voted for. In fact, did that come in this snapshot? It did not. It did not. Okay. Still, we we will be seeing that in the future. I will probably make a video on that when it does come out. Uh, it's obviously not going to be a very long video. It'll probably just be a short. Anyways, everybody, thank you all very much for watching. Leave your feedback on the video and what you think of the trial chambers down below. If you want to see when new videos will be released, you can either hit the notification bell or you can join my Discord server because I always announce it on there. But for now, everybody, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.